What up folks, welcome back to Ultrazilla Toys, and today I have a review, a double review, and I mentioned it to you yesterday, um, of the NECA Godzilla 1994 and uh, the Burning Godzilla. So, this is, ba this is the same mold here, and, uh, you know, they're a little bit different, you know, there's the burning aspect, uh, but it's basically the same figure. Uh, I mentioned them yesterday on this guy's review, the Reactor Glow Godzilla. And I realized when I took these guys out, I've never reviewed them. Um, because I recently got them. Then for me, they're still pretty new. I've only had them for a few months. And I decided, you know what, while I've taken them out for comparisons with Reactor Glow, which is the Loot Crate exclusive, I'm gonna review them here. Here's a, you know, a little double bonus review for you guys, so pretty cool um yeah i mean they're okay it's not a bad like the original here i really like this one i really don't like this one so let's like let's just start it there um so this guy is, you know which is the original of this is really nice uh it's a good solid sculpt of this godzilla it looks really cool you know, he looks just like a decent, decent Godzilla. You know, I, I really, really dig it of that 90s Godzilla. Uh, and it's pretty well done. You know, nothing, you know, the scales look good. The dorsal fins and his, his texture feels good. It's, you know... It's done in this, like, interesting, and we saw this on the GMK Godzilla, but they add, like, some green into their Godzillas, and, you know, say what you will, but I think that's kind of cool. It kind of sets it apart. It may not be accurate, but it sets it apart from the SH Monster Art stuff, and I dig that, you know, like, it's got, for me, it's got room in my collection, that's for sure, um, especially at the price point, it's like, why not? These are, these are pretty, pretty slick in their own right, you know, like, they're not, like, the greatest things ever, but I, they, they really work. And this one especially is, like, and this is, like, the original guy. I think this is the first NECA Godzilla, uh, and he's just really great. I don't really have anything bad to say about the sculpt or anything, and it looks really nice. Uh, again, you got the paint with the green wash over it. Kind of reminds me of that Imperial Godzilla. A little bit uh, if you know old-school Godzilla which I like and maybe that's kind of some of the influence behind it the head sculpt is really good that's uh, a really great representation of that like really canine Godzilla his eyes are painted really well here the teeth look good the mouth looks really nice it's really painted well so I dig it I dig it a lot I, I, I like the way it looks um, Dorsal spines look good, you know. There, this, you know, I, there's some green slop coming up from the spray of this, but it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst either. Could live with it. The rest is done in this like white, uh, which is okay. It varies. Like I, it's a little sloppy, but sometimes it's a little like overdone. But overall, it's not bad. I think the uh, the Reactor Glow one had a really more sloppy job done on the tail. So, but this one, for the most part, looks decent. Decent enough, at least. The nails are kind of all over the place. You got, like, various degrees of, like... Like, this is a lot of paint on there. A lot of white on top of that, like, tealish green. And over here, you almost basically got none. So, yeah. I see little uh, fiber or hair uh, embedded into the finger there. That's kind of gross. Yuck. Let's see if I can get that out. Yeah. Gross. The nails fare a little better though, paint-wise. 
But yeah, it's it's decent. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna quickly go over the articulation again. I did this yesterday, but heads on this bolt joint. This one's really tight on mine. The neck goes like that. The shoulders got swivel around. Yeah, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, wrist swivel, these hand hinges that I really like. The waist, or kind of like chest, ab crunchish type of deal. More of a swivel, then I get a little bit of back and forth, but not too much. The, there's much greater range of motion in his hips than there is on re my reactor glow. That's pretty good. Pretty cool. Knees have a bend. Various degrees of tightness there. And the feet have a little bit of a rocker. Can go a little bit back and forth. The tail has one joint, two joint, and then and three joints, and then um, the rest of the tail is like a really hard bendy wire. And this tail stays in a lot better. So this guy's pretty good. I like him a lot. Really fun one to have. Now now, burning Godzilla. Boy, do I not like this figure. Um, I am glad I only paid like 10 bucks for this. Uh, first off, like I don't, it's kind of cool that it's translucent plastic, but I needed it, I don't know. I feel like the burn effect should be a little darker. It's just like this like kind of like light orange and it just doesn't work for me. And then that, yeah, we talked about this in the last review. This guy's head is uh, does not want to stay on. His eyes look pretty good. Mouth is tight. That looks all right. But that's bit, you know, two heads about it in one. Same head, but this does not want to stay in. Tried to heat it up and everything, and, and now it's gone. <laughs> oh, oh, here it is. It is Power Ranger over there. Leftover from Power Ranger week. Man, they're all still here. I'm just getting over Power Ranger week. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, this guy... Anywho, it's all the same articulation. I'm not going to go over the articulation again. Um, so I just want to really just go over the look. At, I can't really do anything about this <laughs> right now. His head won't stay on for whatever reason. Just does not want to go in there. I'd rather it be on than not. But... Uh, the paint on the toes is the same as the other one, maybe done a little bit better. The fingernails have a little more white than the other one, but it's still the same color scheme. Uh, this one, like, kind of like the reactor glow. Like, and I like this, like, they put, like, white to match here to kind of fade out from this orange. So, that's cool. And... I haven't talked about it yet, and I don't think I even talked about it on the Reactor Glow Godzilla. The, um, his dorsal fins are like this, like, really soft plastic, uh, which I would be a little bit afraid of, like, afraid that they might, like, break off, but so far so good, nothing going on there. Uh, the dorsal white, you know, fins here... They're kind of, these spines here are a little, uh, a little messy in the paint department as well, like the uh, reactor glow. But yeah, the overall look of this figure, um, it's okay, but it could be better. You know, I don't, I don't love it. Like, when you really, again, this is the, this is the ultimate burning Godzilla, so he's a little different than the 
original release, but I do prefer this one. Um, I mean, that's sharp. That looks so, so good. And this just, to me, just doesn't. I don't know. I do like the uh, the way it, it like blends into his neck a little more than I than this. This looks like I think it's just painted on. Um, but otherwise, yeah, not really, not really feeling the effect on this one. So it is what it is. I still I still like that I have it in the collection. So you know the head part part is like the thing that bothers me the most. Like. Not that I'm gonna be playing around with it, but like if I can't even like pose it a little bit without it popping off, it's kind of a bummer. But this guy, this guy is great, and I'm glad to finally have him. You know, I now have like I have all the NECAs to date, so that's that's pretty cool. We're just waiting on Shin Godzilla right now. They haven't announced anything else yet, but we shall see what they uh, what they have in store for us. Alright guys, and that's all I have. Um, you know, I wanted to do this video when I, you know, did the uh, Reactor Glow Godzilla. I figured, let's get these reviews done because I've never talked about these anywhere. So, little bonus NECA review. I also never talked about the uh, 2014, which I uh, I also I purchased at the same time as this guy. Uh, both were on sale at BBTS in the fall. So, uh, I will do that one eventually, you know, save it for a rainy day or so. All right, but that's that's it with these two. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you uh, want to share this video. I would surely appreciate it. And check out my Facebook page at Ultrazilla Toys. And until next time, peace out, peeps.